Hey, y'all, hey. Um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my baby, my 16 year old son. Um, he really came through in a clutch for me today. And I know my eyelashes are still going every which a different way. I'm gonna see how I can fix them. So just pretend like they're not, okay? Because I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. But um, actually, my my 16 year old and my adult son um, and my daughter in law. But I want to focus this video on my 16 year old. Um, I was having a really rough day today, as I was saying earlier in my video. Caregiving is. It's even harder, I think, than becoming a first-time mother. When you have a um, when you have a baby, if you have even a mediocre, or as the kids say, a mid support system, you do get at least a phone call. How you guys doing? What's going on? Or whatever. You may be able to call somebody and say the baby's crying a lot today. You know, I think you know, the baby's throwing up a lot, or there's colic, or the baby has. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And for the most part, you can find someone to reach out to when you have suddenly become a caregiver for an elderly person especially when you are in my age group like the doctors and many people have told me when I'm taking her to her doctor's appointments and stuff they're kind of they're always like oh usually the caregiver is are you retired have you retired or do you have to be forced into retirement to care give for you and it's like no I'm at the time when I took on her care I was 43 43 44 because I'm 45 now it's been about a year a year and a half and so I was like, no, I, I, I have a six-year-old. I'm not anywhere near retirement age. As a matter of fact, I just started a business, and I work 18 hours a day trying to get my business up and going. And, you know, I have a seven-year-old. Now my kids are seven and nine, and then, you know, my 16-year-old, and then, I you know, my son was in college, and he was trying to, he went to college two hours away from home, so he was navigating life, and I was helping him very much so with that process. And, you know, I have an older son too, and he's newly married and married, and I'm trying to help him navigate marriage and all, all the things. Like I'm nowhere near the age of like my aunt and my mom who are in their 60s, mid to late 60s, who are at the age where you don't have any young children that are looking up to you or needing you for anything. You are of the age to care gift for your mother, but you just you don't want to. And like I said earlier, I'm standing whole, I'm standing firm on that. Fuck you for that, for leaving me for the dead with this, and for leaving your mother for the dead for that. Real quick, my grandma just turned 88. I'm working on the video. We, we celebrated her up so tough. You know, because when you're in this age, you don't know when your last birthday is. Turn that off, mama. Um, you can come back in a minute. You don't know when your last birthday is going to be. Um, you know, this could very well be that last birthday. And they didn't call her to even say a happy birthday to her. But anyways, I have some amazing footage. I'm working on that. I've just been really in a, 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 I've been having a case of blues. I've been pretty down, just angry. I told you I'm feeling, I've been operating from a place of hate. And I'm going to be honest about that. I'm going to allow myself to operate from this space as long as I need to, to just be okay. Because when you start to force yourself out of the hate, then comes the sadness. And I don't, the sadness is too scary. The hate is easier then it's, it's, anyways. so today was a rough day the past two weeks or so have been rough um, with my grandmother and her symptoms and stuff and um, I had a really rough day today and my 16 year old son he stepped in my baby Christian, my little bush. And I was making a TikTok video about the story time, and I was going through an old Facebook um, that I had, an old Facebook account that I have, and I found all of these pictures of my baby boy. And it's just, you know, he's got his own mental health things. And, but, anyways, it was just nice to have. Um, not yet, boo. I'll call you. Go, please. If I'm recording, I told you I don't want you to come in here. Thank you. Um, when I be meeting my baby, you know, I told you boys and their mothers, I said it all the time because I'm a boy mom before I'm anything else. I was a boy mom for the longest of my mother's grandkids, and there's a lot of them. I'm the only parent with the boy, you know, so I'm, I'm a boy mom through and through. I, had, I do have, well, anyways, so... Um, I recently found out that here in San Diego, where I'm from, they have this thing called Youth Opportunities Program, I think it's called. Anyways, children that are under the age of 18 can get bus passes for free to be able to go anywhere in the city. Also in October, 
San Diego has what they call October Kids Free Month, where every, not everything, because actually a lot of stuff ain't even free no more. Like from back in the day, you could go to the zoo, you could go to Sea where you could go to the animal park, you could go to the museum, you could go to the aquarium, you could go to, uh, like anywhere, and the kids, if they're under the age of 18, are free. They got all these restrictions now, but anyways, I was like, I'm gonna get the kids bus passes, and you know, we'll explore San Diego from their little, you know, POV, their point of view, and get to see some things. And so I got them bus passes today, and um. I was telling myself, like, you know, you want to take your sisters, you know, them out and go let them just, you know, let's burn a hole in these bus passes. Let's let's take these bad boys out for a ride. And so he's like, yeah, sure. And he already had one because he uses it to go to football practice for school. Anyways, um, he did. And I thought he was going to be gone for like an hour or two. This boy was gone for like four, four and a half hours. And when I had to call him like, hey, y'all good? Because y'all, I mean, you haven't even called. You Normally, if he takes him out even for a little bit, he's on the phone with your mom. They're acting up. Can you can you tell them that you said you know you ain't playing? If they about to be on restriction, kids is getting ready to get their devices took. And da, da, da. He didn't call me. And then my baby boy, my sweet baby boy, when he came home with his my babies, giving me a break. He bought me this. I just love so much. My village is so small. But the village I have is so fucking solid. That's, anyways, I just wanted to say that. As a matter of fact, hang on for a second. Christian! Chrissy Bear! Hang on, let me see if he's interested in being on this camera. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, I checked with him to make sure he felt like being on camera. I've never forced, I'm not that parent that's forcing my kids online. As a matter of fact, I don't want my kids online at all, but he said he was comfortable. Come here for a second. Hello. That's my bubsh. Hello. That's my 16 year old that I always be telling y'all about and that be stalking me and it's weird and it's psychopathic and that is really a lunatic. That's him, but Keep it up, bro. Tell me. he came through today for me and he does all the time, but it was really special because not only did he keep these heathens out of my hair, it was such a surprise to have him come home with this. And I gave him some money to go and get like lunch for him and his sisters. And so it's like, he took some of that money and then he thought of me. So sweet. So anyway, this is a shout out video, but shout out to you. Thank you, honey. I told you boys and their mamas. Boys and their mamas. Since you're already here, you might as well watch another video. I'll just put it right here for you. It's right here. Just one little click. Go ahead. So we can be together longer, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.